Hello everyone, we're back to our regular scheduled Friday new product post and we've got a couple products to talk about so let's go ahead and see what they are. This is Sugru. You might have heard about this online or you might not have. Either way, it's a pretty interesting material. Think of it like a Play-Doh or a Silly Putty that can air dry in about 24 hours to a hard silicone-like rubber material. So for instance, we took some old pair of pliers that the grips had fallen off of and we put some Sugru on it and here we've got a really hard rubber grip. And we've got the two different colors, we've got black and orange. So it's pretty interesting stuff. And like I said, just air dries. And each one of these packs includes 12 individual packs in four different colors. So if we take one of these packs and open it up, here's what it looks like. Initially it looks kind of like a Play-Doh or something like that. And it's very flexible, very pliable and you would just take this and mold it around whatever you're trying to do. You can use this for pretty much anything. Imagination is your limit here. If you have a cable that has a tear or a break in it, you can mold this around the cable and have a new molded connector for the cable. You can put it around tools so you get a nice comfy grip on that. You can use it on the bottom of something like this to get a nice foot on it. And it is actually adhesive. And Suger claims that it is self-adhesive to aluminum, steel, ceramics, glass, wood, some fabrics, and plastics. So when we put on this Allen wrench, it is actually completely adhered to this. Even though it is a smooth metal surface, it is actually adhered to it. So whatever you put this on, it's actually going to be fully stuck to it, which is kind of neat. And with the four different colors and the little packs, you can do a lot of interesting things with this material. This next product will surely have some very interesting uses. This is a PS2 trackball. It's got a PS2 connector on one side and this lovely trackball on the other side. And if we crack this thing open, we can see we've got this nice clear ball and then we've got just optical encoders for the X and the Z axis. And we've even got some LEDs here in the bottom. So it's really easy to hack. You can use the PS2 library for Arduino and hook this directly up to an Arduino and you can use this to control your Arduino. And the other nice thing about this too is that this second wire lead with all these wires coming out of it, these are actually the mouse buttons. So if we take the ground and connect it to the yellow, we've got a left click, to the white we've got a right click, and then to the red we've got that middle button. So you could use this just as a full-fledged mouse or you could do something else interesting with it with your Arduino. And we've got a little demo set up to show you just one of those uses that you could use it for. Here we've got an interesting little demo that my assistant Nick came up with. We were trying to think of a way to use this other than a mouse or other than a trackball and use it something a little bit different. He really likes a musical instrument shield. So what we've done is we've enclosed this in a box. We've got the two arcade buttons hooked up to the left and the right mouse buttons. We've got the trackball here hooked up with the PS2 connector into the Arduino and we're using the PS2 library with the Arduino and then we've got the musical instrument shield hooked up to some speakers over here. And what happens is when we spin this it plays notes and it plays higher notes if we spin it this way, lower notes if it plays it that way and then goes louder or softer and then these two buttons will actually change whichever instrument we want to play. So let's power it on and see what it sounds like. So there we go. So we can go really high or really low. And we can go quieter or louder. And then by using this button, we can change the instruments. So it's a neat little demonstration to show some of the other ways you can use a trackball other than a mouse. And as you can see, when it turns on, you've got this nice green glow. And when you press a button, it has a red LED. And this is not something we programmed in. This is just the nature of the trackball, so this is how it works. So we've got a couple interesting products this week. We've got, of course, the Sugru, and we've also got the trackball. So check out the rest of the new product post online, and we'll see you again next week with even more new products.